What's up guys, Andre here with a quick update about Pokemon, because Bloomberg recently had a chance to speak to the chief executive officer of the Pokemon company about the future of Pokemon, including Pokemon Go and Pokemon Switch. Now just to get it out of the way, be aware that there's nothing earth shattering here, but it's still interesting nonetheless. So let's go ahead and start with Pokemon Go first, I'm just going to read the direct quote here in which the CEO states that, We've only accomplished 10% of what Pokemon and Neontic are trying to do with Pokemon Go. So going forward, we'll have to include fundamental Pokemon experiences such as Pokemon trading and peer-to-peer -peer battles and other possibilities. So yeah, nothing terribly new there, but it does show that they have huge ambitions for this game far beyond what we've seen so far. Now whether or not Pokemon Go will deliver on the other 90% is yet to be seen, but here's hoping. Now let's move on to the far more interesting topic being the matter of Pokemon on Nintendo Switch. Now, in case you've forgotten, this is something that Nintendo announced back during E3, where they said that a core Pokemon RPG would be launching on Nintendo Switch in 2018 or later. Now, Bloomberg listed five quotes from the CEO in regards to Pokemon Switch, so I'm just going to read them right here one after another. First up, with a Switch, we see it as a chance to create Pokemon that goes deeper and with a higher level expectation. As a result, that makes it an extremely important platform. Second quote, Right now, we're using 7 to 8 inch screens, but on a high definition TV, you can express a whole different world with graphics and sound. Third quote Until now, games were made for one person, but now you can go home and play with everyone. So, how do you tackle these themes, and how do you make sure it's not complicated? Fourth quote I can't say that we'll release accessories, but I'd like to think of that possibility. And finally, fifth quote Unlike smartphones, the Switch is not a game device that assumes that there's constant network connectivity. So from our perspective, it's really not that different from DS or 3DS in terms of connectivity. And that's pretty much it. I told you there wasn't too much to it, but if you want to read even more about the future of Pokemon, make sure to check out the full article linked in the description below. Now with that being said, I do want to explore some of these quotes just a little bit deeper to try and figure out what exactly this game is about. Now keep in mind this is my own conjecture, and even based on that, there's not too much to pull out of here. Okay, so first up is the fact that this doesn't really sound like a port to me, or at least a straight up port. Because he specifically says that having Pokemon on the Switch allows them to go deeper and with a higher level of expression. And beyond that, he also said that he can express a whole different world with graphics and sound. Now, if you really want to look deep into this, he did say a whole different world. Which could possibly mean a whole new region, but I think he meant more in the vein of you can make this look like a new world. You know, who really knows what exactly he means, but he was talking specifically about graphics and sound in that instance. So at the very least, it does mean that we'll get a Pokemon game that probably looks a bit different than the ones before, either in terms of how detailed it is, or perhaps even the camera angle. Maybe the camera will be able to get closer to the action this time, as opposed to the typical top-down view. I mean, even more so than what they've already done in Pokemon Sun and Moon. But again, we don't really know anything for sure yet, but again, it does sound like this isn't going to be just a port. Now with that being said, I am getting the feeling here that the game may not stray too far from existing titles in the series, and it based that particularly on the online section of the interview, where he mentions that based on the Switch's connectivity, or more specifically, that the fact that it can't count on it on having connectivity, means that the online features probably won't be too dissimilar from existing games. So at the very least, that does suggest a single player focused adventure again, and not an online MMO like some people may want. That's not exactly a huge shocker, but again, it does make me think this game's going to be pretty close to the existing titles. Which also itself isn't that surprising, given that pretty much every Pokemon game is somewhat similar to the one before, excepting some new features and changes here and there. But once again, we really don't know for sure what that fully means, because there still is a lot of room for them to play around with the concept that they wanted to and make a game that plays quite different from the existing ones without going full MMORPG on it. Although on that note, perhaps the most interesting thing here is where he talks about how Pokemon games have typically been designed for one person in mind, but now with a Switch it's easy to go home and play with everyone. So this does seem to be hinting at some kind of local multiplayer functionality. Now as to what exact form that takes, again we have no idea. Does that mean there could be possibly co-op in this game? Or might it be hinting at an experience like Animal Crossing where you have different people who live in the same town but have their own experience? I think that would actually be a really cool way of doing it. Maybe everyone starts off in the same town and you all work through the adventure at your own pace. So for instance, maybe if you reach a town after your brother or sister did, maybe the NPCs in that town would talk to you about the experience they had fighting your sibling. I think there's a lot of cool things you could do with that concept without compromising the core single player experience. But once again, those are just my thoughts on the matter, but I want to know what you think. What do you make of these quotes? And more importantly, what do you want to see in Pokemon on Nintendo Switch? Let us know by posting in the comments below. And with that, thanks for watching, and of course stay tuned to Game Explain for lots more on Pokemon on Nintendo Switch and everything else on Nintendo as well. Catch you later, bye.